Hi, I'm Sarah Zervos with Global Reach. Today I came across a really interesting piece of data. The U.S. Census Bureau, when it does its recording of all sorts of factoids of Americans, they found out that of the people who are between 18 and 34 years of age, almost 43% of men in that age group are living at home with their parents or with other relatives. 36% of women are also doing that. I found this remarkably high and decided to do a little digging into the data. This chart shows the share of 18 to 34 year olds living with parents or relatives from 1940 to the present, basically 2014. Two things pop into my mind. First of all, a lot more men live at home than women in the same age group. Second, we see a big trend that's been increasing pretty much since uh, 1980s, 1990s that really took off in the mid-2000s. You have more women living at home today than in 1940. The bottom of this ratio was back in 1960. For men, they haven't quite reached the proportions of 1940. After all, that was right after the World War II, but those ratios are climbing pretty high. So what's going on behind these facts and figures? Well, obviously the economy plays a role. If unemployment is high, if you don't have a job, it's likely that you can't afford rent, so you're gonna go home and live with mom and dad. Second, if houses or mortgages are really expensive, you're not gonna be able to afford it, so you're gonna look for a roommate, or again, go home and live with some relatives. However, I found out some research available that was produced by the Federal Reserve and the Pew Foundation found two very interesting other factors that are at play here. First of all, student loans. Since 2005, and even more recently, 2008, 2010, the amount of student debt has skyrocketed, and it's been quite expensive debt. As a result, a lot of these students found themselves without jobs, but also with a huge amount of debt to pay back. So without much disposable income, many of them have decided to go home. Second, and even more interestingly, comes down to marriage. People are getting married a lot later. In fact, in 1960, something like 60% of these households of people in that group, 18 to 34, were married and living with their spouse. Nowadays, this num that number is around 26%. In fact, the average year of when people are getting married has climbed six years in that time period, ranging from 21 to 23 for women and men, up to 27 and 29. Moral of the story here, well, if you're a parent, don't go downsizing yet. Even though your kids are about to go to college or in college, they might be coming home. I guess m not many of us are going to complain. Second, if you're a kid or if you're a college-age student in that, in that age group, don't be so worried about being an old maid. Everybody else is too. Second, maybe you should be thinking yet again about how much student debt you're going to take out because do you really want to live at home forever?